airplane cabins are more cramped than ever. Over the past 40 years, airlines have cut legroom and installed thinner, lighter seats, all in the name of fitting more passengers on board and saving money on fuel. This wasn't always the case. In the early days of commercial flying in the 1920s, airplane seats were just wicker chairs. After that, seats were made of aluminum, but looked nothing like what we're used to today. During a post-World War II economic boom, more travelers took the skies, and manufacturers introduced larger planes with big cushioned seats to match, and there was only one class of flying. As more passengers opted for taking planes instead of buses, cars, or trains, airlines introduced two class cabins, first class, an economy, also known as tourist class. Seat pitch, the distance between the back of one seat to the seat in front of it, was about 35 inches. So why did airlines start cutting legroom? Money. The race to cut seat pitch really began in 1978, when the U.S. deregulated the industry. While the smoke-filled cabins of the 1960s and 70s were certainly roomier, air travel was expensive. When they were regulated, the U.S. government set a floor on fares. A transcontinental flight cost more than $1,000 in the mid-1970s, while fares on similar routes can be about $300 today. Meanwhile, airlines used to sell refundable tickets and did not charge for checked luggage or seat selection at the time, like some fares do now. After deregulation in 1978, airlines competed on price, and more and more passengers were stuffed into its planes, including some of the newer jumbo jets. The industry rode through boom and bust cycles, faced bankruptcies, and consolidated, leaving four airlines in control of some three quarters of the U.S. market. In the 1980s, seat pitch was about 33 inches. By the 2000s, seats had about 32 to 33 inches of pitch, and today we're down to 31 inches. Some budget airlines offer less than that. On Spirit, for example, seat pitch is about 28 inches, one of the lowest in the industry. And like other low-cost carriers, they have seats that don't recline in order to save room and fit more passengers on board. In addition to less pitch, there are more seats on board than ever. Airlines are scrambling to capitalize on record demand with more crowded cabins. Lawmakers now want to set minimums for seats on airplanes, including pitch, width, and length. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.